Welcome back. A Wichita couple bringing unexpected joy to people dealing with medical issues or other hardships. Samantha Boring explains how in this week's Positive Connections. We're going to sixth floor. Riding in the stroller is four-year-old Rosie the Rabbiter. He's as big as you are, isn't she? A 15-pound Flemish giant therapy rabbit. <laughs> Rosie bringing hoppiness to kids like Cooper Holloway. It was crazy just to see how big the rabbits are. He's recovering from a traumatic brain injury he got in football practice. I was hit on the right side and I lost feeling from the neck down and was sent to Wesley Hospital. Six months later, Rosie is a part of Cooper's healing. He's a pretty special kid. Nancy and Clint Bradfield travel across Kansas to hospitals, VAs, and nursing homes with their nonprofit Rosie Snuggle Bunnies. We tried to look at ways that we could help them give back. Rosie the Rabbiter is certified through Pet Partners, a therapy animal program. Wow. Being exposed to different noises and animals and wheelchairs and things like that to make sure she's not going to run or jump or scratch. As Rosie rides in her stroller, she's ready to work. There's Rosie and Cleo. Bringing sparks of joy in moments of challenge. Most times they'll just pet and, you know, we talk about their noses always going up and down and their long eyelashes and their big ears. Bunny. Bunny. Mm -hmm. Bunny's eyes, that's right. The need is out there, um, and we really want to grow this. Using big ears and a fluffy tail <laughs> to connect with kids like Cooper. You guys have a blessed day. Here for you, Samantha Boring, KSN News 3. All right, Rosie is so large. Rosie the Rabbiter is working to expand with Bunny Barns so they can have more therapy rabbits. They have a poker run fundraiser coming up in September. And we've got details on it on our website at ksn.com.